There's a little update for you guys. Sorry if it's a little echoey. It's because there's not much sound deadening in here. Well, since we moved to Texas, I decided to build one of my dream sim rig setups. And right here is the SimLab 8020 um, GT1 Evo. It's the little brother to the PX1, so this is a little bit smaller of a base. And as much as I would like the DD1, which is a direct drive, I picked this up, which is the Fanatec CSL Elite, used as well as the pedals with the load cell kit. But I bought new, the button box, the Fanatec Formula V2 steering wheel, and the shifter. The wheel did come with this one, the PlayStation, I guess, one. Not a bad wheel, definitely will get a different round one in the future. But yeah, this is like entry level they say, but it's a great wheel. Um, same with the pedals. I think in due time, I'll upgrade those pedals to something better and upgrade this to a better either direct drive or just a better belt. But I love this steering wheel because I installed the advanced paddle module so they're magnetic shifters and they're super tactile and feel just like the real thing love this steering wheel um, for the most part i do i racing the shifter the shifter's good um, no complaints there i will say the gear changes like one two three four i noticed a lot more miss shifts i don't know why not like like going in the wrong gear but actually just shifting like the sensitivities kind of wonky. So I'm using only one uh, monitor right now. It's a 32 inch Dell, the same one I have there. I hope and plan to upgrade to triples. Um, that's the best way to go sim racing. So I'll have just one more, but then I need to buy the stand, which is an 8020 stand. And for the most part, it would like angle out here and I'll have to move the sim rig, but I'll be the most immersive. Um, the PC build, I'm a huge PC guy, um, ignore the wires but I'll put all the specs down in the description below. And then this just here is like the workstation, um, editing whatever videos I need to do, searching the web, streaming, you know, YouTube. And yeah, I mean this seat, which I think I'll upgrade also as well, cause it's not the most comfortable. I have to put a blanket down with Wilson's eyes. Um, this actually came from the BMW. So I have a little bit of that with me. I will also have to get, I think, a riser kit as I sit a little bit low but if you guys want to see any videos of like sim racing whatnot I have a decent record a couple wins but for the most part I try to keep the races interesting but this is the setup turn it on right here LEDs very bright at night camera doesn't want to focus Yeah, super good. Feedback's really nice, tactile and everything. The button box. So this one here turns on the LEDs. You have your ignition. I mean, you can program it all you want. Start button, brake bias. These are all touch dials, analogs, and then like rotary switches or whatever they call them. But yeah, that's the setup. Michaela's desk will go there once it's unpacked, or Peloton. But for the most part, since I don't have a car out here, well actually, I do now, um, I'll be surprised. But this is my game room.